Farnsworth's Classical English Argument, Farnsworth's Classical English Series Book 4, by Ward Farnsworth, is an insightful exploration into the art and science of crafting compelling arguments. In this book, the author dissects the fundamental components of argumentation, drawing from the wisdom of classical rhetoric and applying those principles to modern English. Farnsworth begins by defining argument broadly, not just as formal debate, but as any attempt to persuade or convince others. He delves into understanding what makes an argument successful and offers techniques to improve one's argumentative skills. An important distinction he highlights is between dialectic, which seeks truth through structured debate, and rhetoric, which is the art of persuasion, irrespective of the ultimate truth. The book explains how good arguments are often a product of clear thinking and effective expression. Farnsworth emphasizes that the soundness of an argument is rooted in its logical structure and the validity of its premises. He explores various logical fallacies, such as straw man arguments, ad hominem attacks, and false dilemmas, which can undermine an argument's credibility. By identifying and avoiding these pitfalls, one can strengthen their argumentative skills. One key aspect of classical argument that Farnsworth focuses on is the use of syllogism, a form of logical reasoning where a conclusion is inferred from two given or assumed propositions, premises. He explains the components of a syllogism, the major premise, the minor premise, and the conclusion, and demonstrate the strength of a syllogism relies on the soundness of the premises and the logical connection to the conclusion. Farnsworth delves into the importance of ethos, pathos, and logos in argumentation. Ethos refers to the credibility or character of the arguer, pathos to the emotional appeal to the audience, and logos to the logical foundation of the argument. He advises that effective arguments typically blend these three elements, with the proportions varying depending on the context and audience. Ethos is especially vital, as the perception of the arguer's authority and virtue can significantly sway an audience's receptiveness. In discussing the persuasive power of language, Farnsworth highlights the effective use of figurative speech, including metaphors and similes, which can encapsulate complex ideas in a relatable and memorable way. He also notes the significance of brevity and clarity, suggesting that concise arguments are often more impactful than verbose explanations. The role of evidence in an argument is another focal point. Farnsworth points out that the quality, relevance, and presentation of evidence can make or break an argument. He emphasizes the need for evidence to be not only credible but also appropriate to the argument's claims and understandable to the audience. He teaches the reader how to evaluate the strength of different types of evidence and how to integrate them effectively into their arguments. Farnsworth discusses the value of concession in an argument, acknowledging valid points made by the opposition. Concession can serve to establish the arguer's fairness and enhance ethos, but Farnsworth warns that it must be used judiciously so as not to undermine one's own position. A skillful arguer knows when to concede minor points in order to strengthen the overall argument. Another important element covered is the structure of an argument. Farnsworth guides the reader through organizing an argument in a coherent and persuasive manner. This includes the introduction, where one presents the issue and the argument's thesis, the body, where the main points are detailed and supported with evidence, and the conclusion, where the premise is restated and the argument is forcefully summarized. Throughout the book, Farnsworth incorporates a wide range of examples from historical speeches, literature, and legal cases to illustrate his points. He analyzes the persuasive techniques used by prominent figures such as Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill, and Martin Luther King Jr., among others. These examples not only serve as practical demonstrations of the principles discussed, but also as inspiration for readers looking to improve their own argumentative prowess. By the end of the book, readers are expected to have a comprehensive understanding of what makes an argument effective and an appreciation for the subtleties of classical English rhetoric. Farnsworth's guidance empowers the reader to construct more convincing arguments, whether in writing or in speech. In conclusion, Farnsworth's classical English argument is more than a simple manual on argumentation. 
It is a deep dive into the philosophy and execution of persuasive communication. It blends timeless rhetorical strategies with contemporary examples to create a resource that is both practical and intellectually engaging. Through its exploration of logic, rhetoric, language, evidence, structure, and style, the book serves as a vital tool for anyone looking to enhance their ability to argue with clarity, persuasion, and grace. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.